Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a huge thank you to Care Of for sponsoring this video. In today's video, we're gonna be sharing some DIY porch planters as well as a porch refresh. I'll be sharing how we get ready for spring. It's gonna be a fun video, so you don't wanna miss it. Also, if you are on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie Aguirre. I share a lot of behind the scenes, home and lifestyle there. Warmer weather and more sunlight every day means that our daily routine is changing. We've really been focusing on refreshing everything from day-to-day -day routines to lifestyle and health goals. I've incorporated the Care Of brand into my daily routine for over a month now, and I really love the convenience of having my vitamins pre-packaged and ready to go when I am. Not to mention they come in the cutest box I can keep right by my coffee maker for convenience. Each packet is eco-friendly, compostable, and comes with a great quote or challenge for each day. Being a mom with a busy schedule, I noticed my energy level needing a boost. Care Of helped me by recommending the B Complex for energy support and magnesium for restful sleep. The Care Of quiz takes about five minutes and really helps address your personal health and wellness goals. I love that Care Of uses high quality products and good clean ingredients in all of their vitamins and supplements. Care Of makes it easy to get the right vitamins and supplements for your specific needs. They'll help you build and stick with a plan that's right for you. Take the quiz using the link below to see what vitamins and supplements Care Of recommends for you. Use promo code Valerie50 and get 50% off your first order. So I found these planters online, two for $30. And what I loved about these is you got the bigger one and the smaller one. So I will link the website down below in the description, but these were a really great deal, super great quality. They are plastic, but they have that little drainage hole that you can pop right out on the bottom. So my plan for these were to kind of give them a Pottery Barn style, concrete aged look without the hefty price tag, of course. These concrete planters can go for a pretty penny, so I wanted to create the look for less. I started by giving them a coat of spray paint and I used the Rust-Oleum Chalked, and this is the charcoal color in the Chalky Smooth finish. I found this at Home Depot and I wanted it to have kind of that darker concrete. So I'm just going over both pots with about one coat of spray paint. They really didn't need much more than that. Because they are that fluted style, I feel like the spray paint works a lot better going up and down versus going sideways. So once I did one full coat on them, I just flipped them over and then finished off the bottom and then the under part of both pots. And once those were completely dry, they had a nice smooth kind of chalky like finish. So I went in with the Bear Collection Wax Decorative Finish and this is in the color white. I also found this at Home Depot and the purpose of using this wax on these planters is to kind of get it in there where those little crevices are in the fluted areas and it's going to give it kind of that aged matte stone look. So it's just another effect that's going to enhance these planters but what I like about this wax is it's almost like a paste and you can brush it on. You can even use a towel to put it on. It's so easy to use, but it just gives so much more dimension and kind of creates that aged look. So I just went in with a little paintbrush and naturally um, going over the fluted parts, it just kind of created that V shape in the paintbrush. So it was really easy to use. You can also turn the paintbrush sideways and really kind of get it on there. And the nice thing about this wax is if you put way too much, you can just take a towel and wipe it off. It comes off really easy and it does take a little while to dry. So it gives you some time to kind of wipe off your mistakes and kind of perfect it how you want. So I did put the wax in between the little fluted areas and then I did put some around the rim, around the top, and then that little rim right there on the bottom part as well. And then what I would do is I would take a towel and kind of wipe off the excess and then get just a little tiny bit right in the middle just to give it a little bit of dimension and a little bit of that aged kind of worn, it's been sitting outside look. And like I said, the wax does come off with a towel so you can you know, fix your mistakes or perfect things or add some and then take some off. It takes about two to three hours in total to dry. So once you get it the way you like it, just let it dry for a good two to three hours. And it says that it seals and protects 
whatever you put it on. So that is an added bonus. So here's the bigger planter without wax and then the smaller one with, and I think it makes a world of a difference. The purpose of me DIYing those planters is because I wanted to give my front porch a little bit of love. It has seen better days for sure. These flowers are the cutest little things. They're actually a succulent variety, but they are going to be moved somewhere to the backyard. And my doormat has definitely seen better days and a lot of sun. <laughs> So my plants and planters are all ready to go. I found both of those doormats on Amazon. I will link them for you guys below, but I did find this rosemary. It's called a blue gem at Home Depot. It is the cutest little thing. And then we did find an olive. It's called a dwarf olive, but it kind of looks like a topiary. It is the cutest little olive bush. So I had Brandon move my planters to the back. They're going to go on our back patio and be replanted and get some extra love there. So in the meantime, I had to clean off this entire porch. Guys, this has definitely seen better days. It was stained and just needed a really good wash. So I like to hose everything down and sweep everything off and get it nice and clean. So before I plant everything, I like to make sure that I like how everything looks and kind of get an idea of the placement and what's gonna go where. I also picked up these little white flowers from Home Depot. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna put them in the pots or we have like a little area off to the side that is really perfect for little flowers. So I am filling up these planters with some soil and I love that these planters have the little drainage hole on the bottom. That way I don't have to worry about them getting wet feet or too much water as they call it. But this really is my happy place. I love planting things and gardening. It just makes me so happy. Is Does anybody else have that with plants or is it just me? Let me know in the comments below what makes you super happy. My boys had to jump in and help too. They love planting things. They are probably a lot like me when it comes to getting excited about seeing things grow. And I love watching them learn about gardening and growing things and get excited to check on things and see how they're growing. It's really fun for me. So these are the rugs that I found on Amazon. If you didn't catch my Amazon favorites, I think we released that last week. Be sure to check that out. I shared this doormat on there and it is such a great price and it's a really nice thick doormat. I love, love, love this doormat. So I'm gonna flip it actually upside down because I like the bottom texture more than the top and then layer those rugs just to bring in a little bit more interest. I'm gonna take my little dwarf olive, although this is the bigger pot with a little bit more height, so I'm gonna put that one in the back and then put my little shorter and smaller pot right there in the front so they can kind of have like a high-low effect so I did have those little white flowers. I initially was going to put these in the pot, but then I decided not to, that it might just be a little bit too busy. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I actually ended up putting them in kind of that little walkway that we have. It's kind of a space that I always like to change out little flowers and stuff until we eventually figure out like all of our landscape and get all that done. That is the perfect little place to put some flowers. And this is our refreshed spring porch. It feels so fresh. It feels nice and clean. It got a nice little bath. I love these layered rugs and kind of that warmth and texture that it brings to the front porch. This little DIY planter project was so fun, so easy to do, and really makes a statement on our porch. I love the dark colors with that pop of green. It is my favorite combination ever. And I can't wait to see these flowers fill in and just look so fresh and ready for spring. I just love taking the time to water things and keep things going and watch them grow. So I hope that this video inspired you guys to try something new or give you a little bit of spring inspiration. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.